Now let me show you a couple of things that can potentially go wrong when you set up a group text message on, on an iPhone. Okay, so I'm going to create one with my wife. And I'm going to create one with Carlos again. And I'm going to send them a test. Okay, it sent the message. And then if I click here and I click info, you'll notice that I cannot change the name. There's no option to change the name or add a photo. The reason that that doesn't work is because my wife has an Android phone. Androids don't use iMessage, which is what this app is. So you can see Carlos is responding to this test I sent. So if you ever try to create a group and it doesn't function quite properly, chances are it means you have at least one person on there that's using an Android, okay? And that's going to create some problems. Sometimes if someone responds from an Android, it doesn't show up in the same thread. It creates another thread and it gets confusing. And, and especially if you're chatting back and forth with a group and you've gone back and forth a few times, it gets confusing to know who said what, what they're talking about, stuff like that. Where if everybody has iPhones, it all shows up right here in one thread and it's nice and clean.